Hey guys, what is going down? How's everybody doing? I'm doing very well because I'm drinking Guinness. Yes, Guinness from a bottle, from a glass bottle, and I'm absolutely loving life. Thank you very much. Cheers. Quickly to the point, what are we doing today? Today we're doing airbrushing, airbrushing on leather, airbrushing on leather vest, just like this. It's a, it's a project for a friend of mine that I'll be very, very honest with you. He asked me to do that over a year ago, uh, one year and two months ago. <laughs> That's right, 2017, I think September, he gave me this. And it was like, can you just do something on me, you know, on this for me? Because uh, um, it's a bit too plain. I wanted to bring it to life, put some color to it. And I was like, yeah, no problem, give it to me. And there we go. We uh, 14 months later and I still haven't done it. <laughs> I'm seeing his this weekend. So I thought, you know what? Better late than never. I'm going to fucking uh, get, it, get it done for him. Why not? Let me show you what we've got and what we're going to do with it. Right, so my job is slightly easier here because uh, on the back of that leather vest, as you can see, it's a, it's a profile of a Native American and American Indian um, already kind of embedded in, into, the, into the leather. It's like pressed, so it's 3D effect. Uh, and he would like it to be a bit more colorful, you know, just bring some colors, you know, white and red and black to the feathers and kind of skin tone. Um, red Native American skin tone, you know, kind of cartoonish looking, not cartoonish looking, but uh, not real life. He said they don't want it real life, want it a little bit exaggerated, but he wants it a little bit more profound so it's kind of visible uh, when he's riding his bike. Uh, his nickname is Cheyenne. We called him Cheyenne since I remember because he kind of looked Native American, you know, and uh, it's stuck, you know, it's stuck for all his life. Um, so yeah, I'm doing this. Uh, the reason it took me so long to get to it because I was so fucking busy. All of you guys dropping me projects and I'm busy with bikes and I'm doing so many other things that I was like, ah, I'll do it tomorrow, I'll do it tomorrow, I'll do it tomorrow. 40 months later, I'm finally doing it. Sorry, brother, for uh, taking so long, but as I said, better late than never and let's fucking get to work. Now, uh, by any old means, don't take this video as an instructional video on how to paint on leather because I'm not an expert on this. There are people who paint on leather, uh, on leather vests, jackets, leather shoes. Uh, they do it for a living and then do a very good job at it. And I'm not uh, any of the above. Uh, so I'm going to do what I've done before and I had pretty... Uh, good result with that. Uh, I'm gonna show you what I do whether that's a wrong right way whether that's a wrong way I have no idea. It's my way. That's how I've done it and uh, And the paint stays there for uh, well years anyway, that's what I remember uh, and, and I'm talking about the leather biking jacket, you know riding in all weathers as well taking beating taking fucking flies in the summer taking rain in the winter taking stone and gravel, you know on the motorway so uh, yeah I'm gonna just carry on exactly like I did it before and I hope for the best. <laughs> Let's have a look. Right, so as I said before, the thing I do, by any all means, don't take it as a guide because you can damage somebody's uh, piece of leather, somebody's jacket, somebody's equipment, uh, and that may be really expensive. Luckily, I know the guy. <laughs> He's not gonna chase me down with a shotgun if I do something wrong to it. But what I do, um, I got some paint thinners over here. I've been airing them for uh, 24 hours, so they just not so super strong. Whether that makes any difference or not, I don't fucking know. Um, very, very little amount of paint thinners, and I'm gonna just rub the amount gently from the uh, area of the leather. I'm, I'm about to airbrush. I'm not soaking the leather with them paint thinners. I'm just basically try to get rid of all the grease and a little bit of color, and as you can see, it's coming off pretty nicely. I'm not gonna go crazy on it. I'm just gonna rub off um, the kind of grease and and whatever is in leather, you know, like a protective layer, so my paint can stick to it, you know, and as you can see, uh, the leather dye coming off uh, quite rapidly using paint thinners. Probably not the best idea to use it, but I've done it before and uh, it works very well. It works for me, it may not work for you, so be careful if you're doing that. And I'm only targeting the area of the leather when I'm going to airbrush, which luckily for me I know exactly what that's going to be, because i got a pattern uh, kind of imprinted into that into that, that leather. So I'm just targeting this, 
Again, I'm not going crazy. I'm not soaking that in. Just removing a bit of that dye, removing a bit of the grease that is on the on the on the leather jacket as as standard, you know. Whether there's like a paste protective or or whatever, whatever that is protective layer, I'm trying to remove it. It degrease it. You can hear it's completely degreased. It's not happening over here, but here on his face, it's grease free. Hopefully, and I've done it before like this, and as I said, never had issues. Uh, I'm aware that being public on YouTube, some people will slay me for this. Oh, he just destroyed, destroyed the integrity of the leather and he's never going to be the same. Uh, yeah, you're probably right, you know, but you know what? I'm doing it for my mate, you know, a good friend of mine. Even if something happens to this jacket, he's not going to be upset with me. I'm not charging him any money for it. But even if I did, I would do exactly the same thing. I've done it before. I'm not soaking that leather with anything. I'm just trying to get rid of some of the nasty substances over here that will stop the paint from sticking to the surface. But you guys, you if you try to do something like this yourself, you choose what you want to do. There are, I'm guessing there are specific products for leather painting and leather preparation and specific leather paints as well uh, and primers. Um, I just don't have them because I don't do that often enough. If I was, if I, my main thing was painting, airbrushing leather, I would probably educate myself on this very, very, you know, even further, and I would invest in uh, specific products that are designed for leather painting. But I don't. I don't paint leather very often. I've done it a few times, and I'm not planning on doing it on full time, you know. So this will be fine. I'm happy with this. Now this is done, I'm going to mask off the area, I'm not going to airbrush so I don't get any overspray over there and then we start laying down the base color. Right, the reason I uh masked only this part over here and not the rest of it is because I want to have sharp edge well semi sharp edge around his uh, the front around his face and over here I decided later on I'm gonna I'm probably gonna use a bit more freehand technique over here just a bit more soft around the feathers and just uh, um, uh, just do them up as I go really uh, so that's the plan and I'm using my Iwata HPB, which is an amazing hairbrush, uh, and um, for this exercise, I'm using solvent based heat inspire paints, which, in my opinion, they really uh, stick well to the leather. And uh, uh, with a little bit of help later on, I'll show you what I'll do. Um, hopefully, that will stay here for years to come. Let's do this.
there you go guys that's more or less the finished article uh, just brought it to life a little bit I had a reference picture printed off uh, of the internet obviously it's not the same uh, but I just type in a profile uh, of a Native American just to get the, uh, the colors really and kind of uh, what's going on so I kind of copy that uh, into that picture a bit um, I say it's nearly ready because uh, the problem here is uh, the leather in its own is kind of satin semi gloss finish and then the paint in some places reflects the light differently than the background so you kind of can't really see what's going on well you can but it's it's very difficult to look at uh, and my answer for this is this uh, don't matter what brand that is, uh, it's a mud like her. Uh, what, well, it says, it, it does what it says on the tin. It's basically mud. It's not shiny, it's mud. It's, there you go, before and after, before it's shiny, and after this, it should be kind of uh, satin mud. So I'm gonna gently, I'm not gonna fucking spray the whole thing, I'm gonna very gently just dust it, um, the whole area over here, the whole. Um, um, vest, the back of the vest, uh, covering the paint and covering some pieces of leather, so it kind of uniforms the whole thing. Um, and what I mean by dusted, I mean I'm literally gonna go probably from about what is it, uh, 60 70 centimeters and just gently go just, 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 just let it settle on this, um, do it a couple of times and dice it. I'll show you how it looks after that. And I mean, literally, I'm not spraying it like I'm spraying everything else to cover it. I'm just gonna, from that kind of distance, uh, spray it a couple, three times, and then do it again, so it kind of uh, just settles on it and it should uniform the whole color. Uh, again, something I do, something I found, it's working for me. Uh, let me do it now, and I'll show you how it looks. And there we go, guys. It was literally. Uh Without lying to you, uh, one minute, 30 seconds, maybe two minutes, uh, and it's completely uh, dry because I literally just dust it with that clear uh, clear coat, um, a matte clear coat, kind of took away that shine, um, uniformed the whole bit, you know, that was a bit more shiny than this, and that was reflecting the lights way more than the actual leather. This way, kind of all is more or less the same gloss, same level of gloss, same level of maybe lack of gloss, satin, um, that's how it is. Uh, leather is a funny material, it's kind of a living creature as well, if you like it. So uh, yeah, that kind of a trick I do um, when it comes to leather. Probably some professionals watching it thinking, what a fucking idiot is behind this camera. But you know what, I don't really care. <laughs> it's what I do, it works for me. Uh, and I'm pretty happy with this. I'm hoping my friend is uh, what he had in mind. Uh, it's not exactly realistic, but then again, the print wasn't realistic. It's kind of uh, it's kind of what it is. Added my touch to it, and I'm hoping he'll be happy with the result. That is it, guys. Uh, one leather vest with uh, uh, slightly colorized um, Native American theme on the back, ready. And hope you enjoyed this video, hope you learned something new, hope I didn't make too many mistakes. And until next time, once again, thanks very much for watching, have a be rock hard, and we'll see you very soon.